after chasing ghosts in New Mexico for a few days, I decided it was time to go east and I'm here at uh, Big Bend National Park in Texas. It's, uh, it's a lot of the same similar scenery we're seeing in Arizona, Nevada. This is like the cactuses, yucca trees. Be a good time. So, Big Bend has a fossil exhibit. I just had to check it out. Animal Kingdom. T-Rex's little cousin. Anything. Are they gonna make it? Yeah. Do his dental work. Some nice molars in here. Missing a tooth. That's a big femur. There's a jeep way right down there. What's the size of this thing? It's huge. That's a grasshopper. What kind of freaking grasshoppers they have out here? Look at that thing, it's huge. The Ewell out here, I guess. I don't know. So I'm just driving along, leaving uh, Big Bend National Park, and I look down this little wash, and there's a little buddy right there, hanging out in the shade, just chilling, and causing no trouble, just trying to stay cool. So we drove a little ways, we came to Canyon Lake Dam, uh, here to fish the Guadalupe River, and there it is. The 
So Canyon Lake Dam is a bottom fed dam, uh, which makes the water still very cold, which is very good for trout fishing. So this is what my understanding is the southernmost trout fishery in the United States. I'm hoping that's true. Uh, I'm hoping there's fish in here. Would be nice to catch a trout in the southernmost fishery in the United States, but it's uh, it's super hot out. It's like 85 degrees. So we'll uh, we'll see if there's anything lurking around in the dam below. The waters are really nice. They're like a nice shade of blue. I was watching uh, herring this morning, trying to fish up something. So. There's stuff in there. I don't know if they're trout. We'll have to run a fly through there and check for ourselves. Smallmouth. <laughs> yep, that guy. That's not a good sign. Means the water's too warm. Hey, bass, bass. So yesterday uh, we were in Texas and it was around Marble Falls. I was hanging out in a campsite, you saw in the previous video. Uh, tornado weather came right over the top of me and pretty much flushed me out of there. Got rained on, I barely could even shut my tent in time. Um, so yeah, we had to get out of Texas. It was windy in Texas. I was gonna try to do some more in Texas and uh, I went out to Oklahoma, and the wind is no exception up here. But there's a couple rivers I wanted to check out. I wanted to check out the Blue River, which we're here now. And then I wanted to check out some sort of falls over at the Broken Bow, and we'll I'll check that out later. For right now, I come down here to the Blue River to check out their Blue River camping, and I come across Hughes Crossing. Now, Hughes Crossing, it was a couple that bought the area and settled in and they used to charge people to go across this little crossing to go and camp out on their land, relax, have privacy, all that sort of stuff. Obviously that was a long time ago, but the crossing is still here. And uh, it is gorgeous, gorgeous water, gorgeous crossing, probably only a couple inches deep there at the crossing.
That's a heck of a campsite. I'm telling you what, this Blue River, I don't even know if there's fish in it, but man, it is gorgeous. Every single time I go to a new spot, you get a view like this. I mean, come on, you can't beat that. Beautiful. Oklahoma. Looks like I'm not the only one that's been fishing here. Fishing line stuck to the tree. First thing in the morning. Beauty. It's a good thing I got my H3 today. Holy wind. Spit the fly. Feisty little thing. They're liking that stone fly.
drove out to Beaver Bend State Park yesterday. Wanted to check out some of these waters. I heard it was good fishing, which I am assuming it is. And I know for sure that everybody else has the same idea. There's people stacked up all along there. And people all along there. Uh, so I'm down below the Broken Bow Lake. There's a couple of spillways. This is one of the spillways or below it. And uh, it's packed with people. So I'm just gonna be spectating today. I'm not gonna bump elbows with anybody. There's a lot of families here with their kids. and It's an awesome day to bring your family out and go fishing. So I'm gonna watch the family festivities and check the area out in the meantime. Gorgeous waters, clear, canyon walls. Everything around here is picnic tables and rec sites and camping and anything you want to do down here in Beaver Bend. Come check it out. Now, no, that's a lady with a baby fly fishing. That's pretty cool. A man up here with his young son. Start him early. Get him hooked on fish, you get him hooked for life.